Hello everyone, this is Noble John. Welcome to another episode of Ark Scorched Earth single player. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah, we've been away a while. It is now Memorial Day. Oh, I thought you had a level. You are so close to getting a level. Hmm, maybe we'll just sit here for a second and talk. So yeah, it's Memorial Day. <laughs> and there have been so many updates that have come out since the last time we were here. Actually, let's see if we can do a thing real quick. Let's roll those. Yeah, that was for them. <laughs> yeah, quite a few. So we actually wanted to, uh, eh, we wanted to look at just a couple of them. Give give some attention to some that I think are important. Number one, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I look down if you can see it easier. Nope, nope, nope. It's kind of hard to see because it's right on the bottom of the screen there. To the gloves. You see them? There, that's kind of easier to see. There's like skin coming through the gloves. That's such a weird thing. Um, so, yeah, if I move too much, it does that. Also, the plants still have glitches. <laughs> but, yeah, hold on a second. I'm going to show you that. So, we got... If I hit I, you can see it pretty plainly that skin is coming through. If I take off the gloves, put them back on, the glitch is gone. It's fixed. You can't see my fingers through my gloves anymore. I don't know why that's a glitch, but it's a glitch. And it, it's there. It's a thing. Oh yeah, while we're looking at that, check it out. <laughs> the menu has changed completely. So this is um, substantially different from the way it was before. Let me go into this just to show you real quick. The couple things that have been changed here. So yeah, this here's the crafting menu. Here's the inventory. Things have been changing quite a bit. It's all blue. It's got translucency. Here is, uh, so this is the structure that I'm looking at, the um, fabricator. This tells me how many slots are available. I mean, this is how many total, this is how many are currently filled up, so there's 30 available. This is the weight of everything that's in there, but it doesn't have a maximum weight, it does have health. So yeah, then I can also switch over to my own stuff right here. Yeah, and there used to be a thing over here for crafting over here, but it confused a lot of people, so I guess it's over here now? Unless, maybe if this thing is turned on, it'll be different. And this is pretty cool. If I transfer this stuff over to my inventory here... And you see I have a stack of nine right here. In old arc, if I clicked this and dragged it over here, it would just fill up this last slot here. But because they've updated it, it just filled up the first nine slots. Because they were missing one each. Check this. It'll do one, two, three, four, five, okay, six across. So up to here will just be filled into ten. Ta-da! Isn't that the coolest freaking thing? <laughs> so yeah, you can just move a bunch of stuff over like that. And you saw it even did it in my own inventory. And we've just filled it up completely just like that. We've got timers on these things so we know when they're going to expire. This has another 26 minutes, whereas this one has over two hours. So you can see at a glance which ones are about to expire and things like that. There's a lot of cool stuff. It took me a while to find this button. This is the transfer all button if you want to move things back and forth. Yep. <laughs> and there's the drop all button right there. I don't think it'll tell me because I can't currently do that. And they've also changed sort. This is kind of cool. Let me change it to alphabetical order for a second. And then step out and step back in. It's still at alphabetical. Old school, it would just stay on unsort as soon as you left. But now it remembers which one that you currently had. And you can swap them back and forth if you want. Just by clicking on the same thing. It'll change it from ascending to descending. and All those types of things. So yeah, you also got based on spoil timers. Let's put the shortest up top. Oh, come on. It looks like that might be bugged. <laughs> Wait. And that's that does work. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a thing. We can make new new folders, but that was already something we could do. Folder view. Let's, I guess we don't want to see folders. I don't know what that does because we don't have anything in this particular menu to do it. Toggle tool tips. So now there's none if I hover over stuff. But if, yeah, now there is. And I don't know if there's a hotkey for that, I guess, because I accidentally did it one time and it was not fun. Transfer all again, drop all again, sorting. I think they're different. If I go to alphabetical here, is this alphabetical? No, it's not. Okay, so I guess maybe it remembers the last one for the thing you're looking at. But that's pretty cool. Another thing that they did, which is kind of strange, is up here I got blinking engrams because when I logged in, I was actually at level 92. And it wiped me. I was all the way down to level one. And I had to come in and reallocate every single one of the 
uh, points that I had in here. And I was able to pull up an old video and find out where I had left off before, so I was able to get back what I wanted. Um, I don't think I changed anything, because I think I liked it the way it was. But yeah, now we're at 93, so we got an extra point in health. And here's the thing, engrams have changed completely now. Where they've got it based on levels. You have to get to a specific level, I mean you did before, but it was like level 5, level 10, 15, 20, it was increments of 5. Now it's increments of 1. And you can see all these things... Uh, yeah, some of them are multiple lines for like level 15, for example. And here's something pretty fun. I don't think I've done cloth armor. I have not. But cloth armor is a prereq for hide armor. So I do this one. Learn learn hide armor and pre prerequisite engrams. Nine points. So yeah, it'll let me do both. <laughs> Which is, you know, pretty cool. But also see, because it wiped me, essentially the same as a mind wipe. I lost every single one of the things I had learned, so I have all these engram points right now, which I don't really want to do because I have no idea what I need right now. <laughs> so I've only relearned the stuff that I've needed, and some of them you probably see um, if you're paying attention. I didn't learn before, but I've learned it since it got wiped, which is kind of fun. There's one down here I wanted to show you as well. Because I'm at 93, so I have the Mosasaur platform saddle, which is useless to me because the Mosasaur isn't here on Scorched Earth. <laughs> I wanted to learn... Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, here's all the tech stuff. Here are the tech engrams. You can see there's no level for them. And level 100 is the highest level you can go to now. Where is it? Oh, yeah, the gas mask. Um, in order to make the gas mask, you can see over on the side it needs polymer, crystal, and absorbitant substrate, which I've never had before. <laughs> absorbitant substrate over here. Uh, I guess they've actually moved this because there was a point when I came in and... Um, oh, no, no, there it is. It says it requires a chemistry bench. And the chemistry bench mm, is up here. I guess they've moved stuff around. They've probably reallocated since last time I saw... Because there was something that I needed in order to make that. Uh, and I wasn't at that level yet. But that's kind of strange to me. This stuff requires a chemistry bench to make. And the chemistry bench isn't learned until 90. <laughs> so it's like, why even learn the engram at 86? When you have to get to level 90 to do it. But I am above level 90. I can do it if I want. I just don't want to. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it requires the mortar and pestle, the beer, beer barrel, the fabricator... And I can learn all of those just right here. It'll take 197 engram points. That's pretty cool. Really, really quick, slick way to do that. Uh, geometry, load, thank you. That that was cool. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that's some of the stuff that's changed. Um, another one of the things that's changed. Ah, we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, there's been there's been another change in the area. I don't know if you guys can see that something is different. Can you see? Can you guys see something? Something has changed. That's right. All of my flyers are gone. And there's a thing up on the hill. That's my bird cage. <laughs> so yeah, so the developers, um, in all their updates, I guess they just made all the flyers sick. Because, well, they got like bird flu now. Because they can't fly very fast. They don't have a lot of energy. It takes them a long time to regain it. They're just all sick right now. So I decided to put them up there in a birdcage to keep them away from everybody else. So they don't get everyone else sick. Until, well, until the developers develop a vaccine, I guess. So, yeah, they're going to be up there. Uh, I can probably give you a tour of that later, but I don't want to get myself sick, too. But yeah, strangely enough, the only one that got away scot-free that I've got on Scorched Earth is this Lymantry up top. And this thing, I don't know how, everything else just got really, really slow to the point where uh, they're all at 100% movement speed and will not go any higher than that, which is really upsetting because I had all of my, my um, Argentivi, I think that's the plural, <laughs> all of my Argentivises is, um, leveled up to 200% movement speed so I could go over to the... Um, the white the white wyverns and gather some eggs and now that they're at 100 percent movement speed and won't go any higher 
I can't use them anymore. They're not useful to me anymore. Not on Scorched Earth. So they're in there and they're sick. Also, their stamina uh, has been dramatically reduced. And they take forever to regain, even Lymantria does. I don't know why they did this. It's, it's, it's really upsetting. But this guy, yeah, he's stuck at 100% movement speed too. And cannot go any higher than this. And his stamina isn't exactly the best. I'm going to have to make him land for a second. Because he's already using up quite a bit. I actually had him boosted up to 1,000 stamina. And now he's down to 487. Just to give you an idea of what's happened to these flyers. Okay, get your stamina back. Hold on a second. Let's see how long it takes before you gain your stamina. Okay. That was something like uh, five or six seconds, I think. Let's try this out. We're going to... We're gonna. What is? This? We need to get some. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Yeah, we need to get something from this base up here. Do you see this? All the other flyers got dramatically reduced in their speed, and this guy. I don't know why, but this guy is substantially faster than he was before. At least he was since last time I used him. I have no idea why he's going so quick now, but it's kind of funny. A little ridiculous. Because I really never meant to use this guy beyond those first couple of episodes when I just went to look around and get a feel for what the island, or not the island, but what Scorched Earth had for me. But yeah, this guy goes quick now. What's his stamina at? Uh, he's about half. I wonder if I can get all the way to the base. Because I actually need to get some food. But right now, I don't have any uh, spark powder, which is what I want to use to cook the food. <laughs> And all of the, not only all of this, the flint and stone and stuff like that is up here, but my creatures that gather it are also up here. I just passed a um, flying ant. Look at this. His stamina is now 30, 25, 21. His stamina is at 12. Finally starting to regain the stamina. It's taking forever for it to go up, even though it's only at 500. Yeah. Yeah, they call it the flyer nerf. And, yeah, as you can tell, I am not a fan at all. So let's see. What we really need to get here is... Um, how much of this stuff should we make? We want to at least get that much. That will give us, like, 200 or something. Oh, they changed this too. So when you want to craft it now, there's no crafting button here. You need to right click. You can craft one, craft a hundred, which is a stack, or an amount. And you can you can click if you want, or you can actually just like click in there and type, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they changed that. That's really really nice because there was a lot of times when we only wanted to get a certain amount, and now there's a way to do it. So I don't know. A lot of people aren't liking the new interface. You don't really like the way it looks and things like that, and I can still see that. There's still some stuff, particularly, I don't know if you noticed, when I was flying along trying to look at this stuff on the right side of the screen to find out what the stamina of my Lymantria was, it was pretty bad contrast. Really, really hard to read, and I don't know why they don't fix that. But yeah, there's still some stuff with this interface that's not, not too great. <laughs> But you know, a lot of it's a lot of it's uh, a big improvement from what we had before. Um, I actually don't know how I feel about this. Oh, I can get rid of it. Okay. So this is the old view that we had before, and then this is the uh, the view that's more like a mortar and pestle. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing too if we want that. See, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get this up to a hundred and then fly on back. And let's see. Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but oh, there's a lot of pooping going on. But some of these dinosaurs also have new sound effects. Let's see if this guy makes any. Get some wood real quick. You sound exactly the same as you did. Hmm, maybe I should check with the T-Rexes when I get back. Because I noticed that their, their footsteps sound different. Oh, look at you leveling up. Hmm, what should we give you? Um, F, come on, let's get into your inventory. We need to give you... Your melee's actually pretty high. Movement speed's good. Health. Weight? Your weight's pretty good, too. 
It's actually just giving me some more health then. Okay, do your little thing. You sound exactly the same as you did before, so I guess you're not one of the ones that's changed. But yeah, one of the things has changed for me as the player. I'll show you that as soon as I bring him back. Oh, it's because you got this wood on you now. I was like, why are you so slow? <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. Get your tails out of the way. I need to get back here. So if I'm back inside of my base right here, we're going to K out. Look up. There I am. Looking cool. Do my little wave. He says hey now. Hey. 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 <laughs> So yeah, that's changed. They actually do make make noises when they do the emotes now. But yeah, I need to take the spark powder back to my base, cook up some meat, and then continue on. There's some tests that I want to do when I bring you guys back. <laughs> See you in a sec. So yes, I guess while I'm cooking some meat, I will show you they did change something about this. So you can see this one right here, um, fertilizer, actually has a nitrogen rating on it now that shows on this bar um cool kill the raptor <laughs> so you can actually see how much more this has before it needs to be replaced which is kind of cool they're kind of different though <laughs> like this one here it looks like it's barely even used where this one over here is i guess this one's actually 11 out of 10 this one only 10 out of 10 yeah so one of which, I guess this one, I filled up completely before it had stuff in it, and it's already used up a couple. Okay, so yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, that's pretty cool that you can see that, how much nitrogen is left on those. Pretty handy. Cooking up a ton of meat over here because I just ran out. And let's get rid of that and put some more in there. Perfect. <laughs> Give me some of that. Excellent. So there's something that I wanted to test out. Um, I think I'm going to leave you guys there for now. Because they changed something about the caves. I told you that they made it now so that um, only the player can take the artifacts back. That was in the last episode. But they've also changed them now so that they actually... I guess they fixed the spawning problem? You, dude, your head's twitching. Are you okay? Are you stressed? <laughs> maybe, maybe you don't want to be stressed. You're still doing it. I'm sorry, buddy. Nervous ticks are the worst. But yeah, so let's. I actually want to try this out. Let me let me do a little quick test. And I think I'm actually gonna go over to that side. Let me. Whoops. Nope. I actually wanted to go up top. Get over the fires. You guys see that? I jumped through the fire. Very dangerous. Very deadly. Not recommended. But it's something that I've done. Okay. Let's. Let's pop you over here real quick. <laughs> I'm going to do something crazy that I don't recommend anyone do at home. And the reason that I'm going to do it is because I'm going to see if it's actually something that's feasible. Maybe you should do it at home. But I don't know yet. So we're going to test it out. Let me put all my stuff in here. Is there going to be room? No, there isn't. It's already full. Mm. Is there room in this one? Yeah, there's a lot of room in this one. Let me actually swap these things over too. Okay. I want to put all this stuff away real quick. Because I'm going to be doing something foolish. And I don't want to lose all my stuff. Put this food in here. And put you. Put this stuff in there too. And put you on the floor. You good? You look like you need some, not food, uh, health. Yeah, 550 flat. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do something crazy and stupid now. Are you watching? Look at that fro. Look at that poop. Oop. Okay, the fro and the beard, they're ready to go. Alright, here we go, guys. Are you ready for this? Do not try this at home. kill myself so sad oh yeah they changed this interface too that's why I kill myself so you could see if they changed this interface 
Wasn't it lovely? The beds? You can see there's a bed in the south cave, a bed in the central cave. Here's the north cave. And here is over by our wyvern trap. But yeah, I killed myself. So I should just be right over here. There I am. Okay, good. I want to try something out. Because they say... That oh, is this the artifact? Artifact of Destroyer, equipable. Yep. They say that. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot they give this to me when I die. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is why I made the uh, Lamantria follow the, <laughs> the other one, so it wouldn't be floating in the air when I died. I want to test out if a corpse. Forty-five minutes. If a corpse could carry an artifact. <laughs> They can. <laughs> uh, drag body. Oh, yeah. So that's cool. A corpse can. But I don't know how useful this is yet. And then it's to E to release. So, yeah. So this thing right now has the artifact inside of it. And I could take it back out. So can I carry a corpse with me? How about if you stop following now? Okay. You can follow me now. I need to do... I need to grab all my stuff. All that stuff is now taken. Put all this stuff back in. Um, what else do I need? Do I have? I do have, but I don't have. I have, but I don't have. That's what I want. Let's test some things. Because I don't think, as it is, that I can drag a body over, get onto a mount. Ugh. That's so cool. Yeah, so clearly it wouldn't actually let me drag it. <laughs> but I want to see if I can drag it with, like, a grappling hook. And then maybe go on a, ooh, go on a mount with a grappling hook. Okay, can I... Can I drop you now? I guess you gotta look at it before you can push E. Who's making noise? Okay. Let's do this. Reload. 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 Pop this thing on for a sec. There it is. That's what I want to see. Okay. 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 Not gonna hop on this. <laughs> it's totally a thing. <laughs> I think we're gonna have Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Party <laughs> I think we're gonna have to try that. Cause honestly, I don't think we can do two of these things. How close can you get? Is that as close as you get? Right? Like, can I let you out? No, you're like... You are like permanently at that distance. Because this thing should be letting you go further, and you're not going any further. This should pull you in, and you're not coming any closer in. And can I see? Alright. 42 minutes, though, doesn't give me a lot of time. So really, if I want to do that thing, it'd probably be best... If I went to the cave, killed myself, and then did everything, so I'd have the maximum amount of time. Hold on a second. Let me see, because I last time I went through, I did it with Sabrina. Sabrina, are you going to eat the corpse? No? You're eating something. You're leaving the corpse alone. That's good. What do you need? Any more health? <laughs> Sure, you're almost at 10,000. <laughs> Can I drag this? Can we do this? Where's the thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that this is the thing. Because I think we're going to try this. I think we're going to try going to the North Cave. Because, um, well, we lost our artifact since the last time we went there. 41 minutes. Hmm, okay. So we're just going to get a bunch more food. 
gear up, and then head to that central cave. And then I'll bring you guys back. See you in a sec. Oh crap, I forgot about that too. <laughs> Looks like the cave may have changed. So I brought the corpse. <laughs> I had to get a new one actually. This one decomposes in 14 hours. Okay. I can still transfer stuff to it. <laughs> I don't know how it got such a difference. What's the... Uh... Does it have health? Zero. Okay, whatever. So why don't you chill right here, body? Whoa, where'd it go? <laughs> yeah, I can't actually tell you what happened there. It just completely disappeared. What's this? Did it go underground? No, come on. Oops, other one. I do not see it. It just disappeared. Uh, I guess I should have paid attention to that when I was testing. <laughs> so it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing that I can do. Which is oh well, you know. I hope this cave still works though. As you can see, I actually did have to go back. I have riot gear on. When I came here the first time, I did not... Or when I... Yeah. Just a minute ago, I did not have riot gear. I had to go back and get some. Let me check and see what my backup is. I don't have anything in backup. Oh, I'm not acting very smart right now. Let's go in and see if we can find some stuff. I... Whoa! Lighting! Lighting has been updated. I guess that means the cave's loaded. Let's see how many uh, creatures spawn here. I think that's the way up. So let's take this alternate route over. Okay, so I guess that's the second way up. Dip. I saw a ton of stuff here on my way back last time. How come there's nothing here? They say that they fixed this cave spawning there's that hmm nothing looks different yet aside from that entrance it looked a little bit more green oh yeah it's really really hot in here because I'm wearing the uh, riot gear can I still get through this little tight tight tunnel yeah Cool, there's a red drop here. Let's see if it's as worthless as it was last time. <laughs> 16 flamethrower ammo. That's actually pretty cool. Didn't I make a flamethrower flame in a previous episode and didn't have the stuff yet to make the ammo? I've got it now. Okay. I am still not seeing anything. That's where the artifact is. I think I'm going to be good to go down all the way with Sabrina. There is some stuff for the first time. And yeah, just let him crawl over the edge. Bye bye. Oh crap. Oh, oh, I did not expect you to jump like that. Oh, it's so hot in here. That means my health is probably going to be going down slowly, too. Um, so there's a thing that I've neglected to talk about in previous episodes that's going to come in pretty handy here, I think. Actually, maybe not. I thought those those uh, Mega Neuro would be right here. That one right there? Yeah, that is one. So there is a thing you can do now with some creatures... <laughs> Which doesn't look like I'll need to do because they could just keep jumping down like idiots. I guess we'll grab that artifact. We can only grab one because we weren't able to carry a corpse with us. I didn't carry it into the cave because I was worried. I learned something on the way over on this trip. And that is. Um. When you have that corpse dangling behind you, if something comes and tries to attack you and hits it, 
it's instantly just turned into a bag. <laughs> and you can't drag a bag behind you, so it just becomes worthless at that point. Uh, you can't carry it with you. You can't bring it back. It's just, yeah. Well, this hasn't been very difficult. They said that they fixed this. And it's not as though I could opt out of the update. This is the current version of Ark. So let's see if it has a bunch of stuff when we get out of this second part of the cave here. What does that say about my uh, heat stroke at 3%? Okay, I'm not worried about that. If it was at like 12%, then I would be worried. But when it's that low, we're good. I think I should be good to just head on out. I might have to run and scream when I bump into some creatures up ahead. But other than that, I feel pretty good because I'm on top of Sabrina. And she is really good fighter. There's some Arrhenios. Let those things just jump like lunatics. I think this is the other way out. Maybe when they say that they fixed it, what they mean is that the creatures now won't won't despawn. Maybe that's a thing. Cause yeah, we're already out. What's up, Procoptodon? Oh. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, we're gonna have to cut. We have to do that in another episode. <laughs> but that's pretty cool to see if they have bees in in the caves here. Hmm, is there no easy way down on this guy? I guess we're gonna have to go around. Cause on my way up here, we did have a run in with some raptors, and they are um, up ahead and down the ramp. So yeah, you can see those bees aren't gonna give me any problems because I'm nowhere near them when I'm running around on Sabrina. Huh. That's actually pretty anticlimactic. I was expecting to see tons of creatures. And you saw, just ran in with Sabrina, ran on out. Here's a, here's a raptor. Bye, raptor. Here's another raptor. Bye, raptor. <laughs> I had quite a fun time trying to avoid those guys. I had to use this trick. Woo -hoo. Just keep bouncing. Jump, jump, jump. And you can see you go quite a bit faster when you do that than this speed. <laughs> but yeah, that got me through them, so I was able to take the corpse up to the tunnel. But apparently it's not going to work for us. Ah, it was brilliant, but it doesn't seem to be workable. Oh well. We're going to go on back to base, and we'll bring you guys back when we get there. We are back at base. Whoops, totally the wrong container. We have ourselves another artifact. I think this thing is now full. No, it's still got three more slots. Okay. Is this thing got any more slots? Carry that then. We got four of them. <laughs> Actually, do we have the flamethrower in here? Is that it? <laughs> we do indeed have our flamethrower. Let's give that a test real quick. Um. How is our heat stroke? It is going down. Actually, let's go inside and grab some of the desert armor. Put that on real quick, because that'll help with heat stroke as well. Where did I put it? Is it in here? It is indeed. Put that on instead. Put this away. Yeah, I didn't even get hit. Marvelous. Heat stroke should be going down quite a bit now. 4%. 3%. Okay. Not going to go any further faster. Pop that over slot one. Why not? And pop that in there. <laughs> container? 100%. Okay, so one container goes for a 10. How about... Oh, heat stroke's gone. How about if we hit you? You're still on fire. It's taking quite a while. How about if we hit this thing? Is 
Four at a time. It's not exactly the toughest weapon. <laughs> and you can't actually... Oh, whoa, you can. You can get rid of bushes. Hmm. And you can really, really hurt your frame rate. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. I don't really know about this thing. It's interesting, you know, it looks cool. How, how far up does that go? <laughs> it won't even show me how far up it goes. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> hmm. Can I light these torches from a distance? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Well, those are the flamethrowers. <laughs> Let's pop you in here real quick. And it's 49%. Okay, so yeah. It keeps it just like the uh, chainsaw. It remembers how much ammo it used from a canister. So that's good. Hey, load your, load your textures. Are you going to load your textures? You guys look so soft right now. Definitely got your, your normal map texture on. <laughs> your skin is not working, but that's cool. We'll have to fix you guys in a little bit. So yeah, we weren't able to do exactly what we want to do in the uh, central cave, but we were able to get that artifact, which is good, because we need one more artifact in order to get to the manticore. And we're kind of a little upset right now because of the uh, flyer nerf. It's going to be harder than I thought to get ready to attack the manticore, because I want a couple more wa wyverns. And as you saw before, we only have two more eggs, a level 72 and a level 20, which eh, is not that great. Spoil time, 87 days. How come the seconds aren't going down? Maybe they're just not going down while I'm hovering? Weird. Maybe they're eternal seconds. They take three or four days to go down. I don't know. <laughs> Put some salt in there. Maybe that'll help. S seconds still aren't going down. Hmm. This one works. Bizarre. Okay, whatever. So yeah, we gotta go and take care of that. And yeah, none of these textures are loaded currently on the Morella tops. And what that means is we're going to have to do some more taming. There's another alternative to get those eggs that I want to try. We're going to have to do that in another episode. Potentially the next. Maybe the one after. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you're enjoying the series, be sure to subscribe for more. Yeah, we're back. I want to do more. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you really want to see, I can take you up to go and see the... Uh, bird cage and see what that looks like because i don't know it actually it looks pretty cool from down here but honestly that might that may very well be the most complicated and large and interesting project that i've built in arc scorched earth so yeah maybe i should show it to you guys next time but yeah we'll do that in in a future time if you guys want us to uh, come on zoom in boom <laughs> and here's our hair <laughs> we have got a ton of it but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Hey. Hey. Hey.